We are days away from the coronation of King Charles, but another banner has been popping up as well. Maybe not as visible, but still important. The Not My King banner. The excitement is building, let me tell you. Oh my God. Royal superfans have slept outside Buckingham Palace for days now. Campers dubbing King Charles's coronation Chastonbury. <laughs> Once the torrential rain had calmed down, the royals popped out to say hello. You guys are very well dressed. We are. <laughs> and of course, I don't want to burst the bubble of the bus, but it has to be said there are huge swathes of the population who are not getting on board with the coronation. Some want the monarchy to be abolished. Others, frankly, don't care either way. And then there are some who are furious that it's being funded by taxpayers' money. Nobody likes the taxpayers' money being spent, do they? Unless it's the way it is, isn't it? I can't afford to live. Why should you have this big thing? It's just costing money. See, if they've got a celebration to do, why don't they do it themselves? All this punting about just to, uh, just to be king. If I'm on the street, I would go and watch, yes, but that's my level of interest. If it's um, from zero to ten, it's probably a three to four out of ten. The UK's inflation is in double digits. There is a war raging in Europe, not the ideal time to spend public money on an outdated ritual. Today is the coronation of King Charles and we've got so many people gathered out here to, to watch and show you guys. Um, you know what, I might have it gave me the realization that I can move anything. I just need to push myself out of my comfort zone a little. Um, 
guys have this catching on with the horn. Uh, yeah. What do you think of the combination? I, I seriously don't know what it was like. Uh, what will they do after uh, about it? I'll find uh, out some fascinating. You know, the uh, policy and everything we're talking about being on the internet. You must be able to tell me. Actually, I don't know. So strong. No, I, I, I don't actually follow him, but I think that Queen Elizabeth might have given him a few points, so he might actually be taking them. The three cheers you spoke about earlier. It's going to be interesting. We'll Okay, let's do it, let's do it. Tell us what happens to everyone, Sheffield, for inviting us. And not just inviting us, but to be part of their wonderful celebration. That's what it's all about. It's all about community, bringing all the family together and, you know, making memories and having the really lucky. And educate the University of Sheffield as well. Yeah, come on. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Sheffield, the greatest Yorkshire city of the lot. And we've been to York. Come on. We've got one of these for you. And that's reckon any retail 5p. I hope you like it. Are you ready? Oh, you guys, behind me is a burritos and taco stand. And I have been longing for burritos for the longest time. So, I'm gonna grab myself a burrito. Guys, I was afraid I was gonna get the authentic Mexican experience, but this is great. It's raining out here. And your boy is celebrating a very late Cinco de Mayo. Literally, Carnation Day is happening one day after people celebrate Cinco de Mayo in the United States. And this is just fantastic, guys. structure we're in right now. It's the entire building. The Cumbrian Medal issued to local citizens celebrate the sixth year of Queen Victoria's reign and her visit to Sheffield to open the town hall. Guys, I am going to end the vlog, but tell me what you think about my Coronation Day shirt. Is it rocking or is it Nah, let me know. See you in the next one.